What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really, really, really special guest in the building. Listen, this is the Ram- the Grammy Kid. You know we have in the building today? We have Mr. Michael Rose in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Greetings, you know. Yeah, may I say, it's my life, and it's not private. You know, you don't know it's music. So we have this new album called I Give You Love. It's out now. We're going to definitely get into that. But somebody like you, I'm so honored to have somebody like you that has so much history in this business. And we're going to try to put together what we can while we have this conversation today. You get it? Okay. Okay. All right. Waterhouse. Do you, were you born in Waterhouse or you moved to Waterhouse when you were young? No, I, I was born in Waterhouse. Actually... My mother and my father, my mother is from Clarendon, my father is from St. Anne. And my mother actually and my father, they, they used to live at Rosemary Lane, downtown. That's before I was born. Yeah. I was I was born in Waterhouse. You know, but my other brothers and sisters and them born at, at, you know, like downtown. And are you how many brothers and sisters do you have altogether? Um you have Marcia, you have Joseph, you, you, you have um, Matthew, you, you, you have Willard, you have Zeta, you have Sidani. You know, there's uh, quite a few, you know. <laughs> and did all you guys grow up in the house together? Um, you see, the thing with it is um, every... He, aspect as well as told you like you know rosemary Lane, you know other kids born there um i made born a water house um my other sister born a water house but as we grow up and you know we branch out you know everybody born somewhere different not at the same spot mm-hmm. right there and are you the oldest youngest in between where do you fall oh boy i'm not the oldest because my oldest brother um, is he, 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 he's from Saint Anne, you know. He used to come up and stay with us. Um, he lives in Canada now. Rap Rose, Oris Rose, he, he's the elder of all. Mm-hmm. You know. At that time, there you have your brothers and sisters. What do you growing up? What did you want to get into? Did you think you want to be a lawyer, doctor, architect? What do you want to be growing up? Oh. Well, um, when it's like when I grow up, it, it, it's like, well, we just love music, you know, from ever since. We could have danced good. And anyway, the, the, the music is, is like, we get beaten for music all the time because like now staying at the yard and, you know, we usually get enough beaten with belt and the thing that is strict to leave music alone. You know, so most of my, like my brother, them, you know, my brother was a civil engineer and, um, You know, everybody, you know, have different um, qualifications like that. I, I, I just love the music. My brother used to sing and, and you know, it kind of even encouraged me a lot more, you know, before he died, Joseph, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, it's, it's just a long story with all of that because um, he knew Sly and, um, you know, Sly usually encouraged, you know, Joe to sing and, you know, he had friends who work in the civil servant. He had uh, a bridge named Errol, Errol Francis. Errol used to work um ministry education. So then we usually know, you know, fun group with, 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 with one another like that and down. Um, then we should sing like Christmas Carol and them sing more like the Delphonics and the, the Shy Lights and uh, the Fidem thing in, in them era they like, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, while them are do for them thing, we did uh, observe everything and I see where we could and did, you know, be in drum with them do, as they were more experienced. Used to have a place named Jassy Sierra Park up by Mullines Road, um, where they used to keep, um, you know, concerts for the, the civil servants. Like all the, the, the government sectors, you know, people would, would have go to the party there, whatever. Christmas holiday and them thing there. And I, I just saw, feel, you know, their life usually run like that. But, you know, it's like, I just take on to 
the, you know, like the, 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 the tribulation music fan. <laughs> you know, I just, I, I just saw my life did go, you know? Yeah, like that. So, um, well, my brother died, so he never actually saw what happened after. Even sometimes Sly would say, why? Joe miss a lot of stuff, you know, because Joe's not around, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess it's life, you know, what we can do, you know, and we just have to just move on and work with prior because this is all the life is nowadays, you know? For sure. Okay, so from back then you had knew Sly, you had knew Sly from a very long time. Yeah, because Sly and on the road, Telma, and Sly usually walk all the way from up compound when they come down the farm road. Man, he's having one slick, you know, sometimes not full white and have a jump stick, a, 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 a roll trim thing and, you know, he, he, like that, you know, and sometimes not full black and like full white and, you know, slide that. Yeah, man. You know, <laughs> but Sly did love it because when Sly started out, Sly, you know, as, as, as I heard, you know, Sly usually play like the cheese pan, the butter pan, use the butter pan and create sound, you know? Mm-hmm. Till um, Sly becomes the, the greatest drummer, you know, to walk this earth, you know, as out of little Jamaica. For sure. There. So even back then, when you were in school, did you join any competitions or anything while you were in school also? Um, no, I never joined a competition, you know. Uh, if you tell you the truth, I never really joined any kind of competition. I mean, we, we, you know, we used to run and, you know, run races and, you know, play football and them things about. It, 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 it never really in a profession like that, you know? Mm -hmm. It was just whatever you're there. And did you go to school with anybody that became popular after a while? Yeah. Um, we got school with um, Earl 16, Sugar Minot, Tarrant. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, they used to go to Tarrant school. You know, we used to go to Tarrant and, and thing. And, um... But um, sugar, 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 sugar did big before me still, you know, and um, um, I think Earl 16 also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Because I know one of your favorite singers, especially back then, was Dennis Brown. What was it about Dennis oh, Brown that you like so much? All right. You see, you know what it up now? Um, when I did, actually, when I start with the judge's school, it's like, I used to go um a big yard every day, you know, go go, you know, to come to love the music thing and you know, me find myself downtown and then we realize, you know, there was a yard up at Iron Street where Dennis Brown, you know. Them usually hang out and play music and thing and some you know, start, you know, go you know, at evening time, you know, after class and thing would I go up there and thing and it's a bro now, talk and you know. After that, now we start with some talent show thing, um, like Boy Yima Club. And um, Naini was the one who actually, you know, saw me up there and, and give me a number and said, boy, come, give me an address in, in, in record shop down by Iron Street. And say, you know, because we did win one of the talent show, the man. He said, come you, check me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going check him and thing on. Now the camera go astrodo with um soul syndicate band and we did um a couple of songs, you know, Freedom Over Me, Guess Who's Coming for Dinner, Clap the Barber, and and, and so on, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Guess Who's Coming for Dinner became a big hit in England still. And um I never travel or anything, but them time you know, they kinda get to know um Juna Del Gedo and so and it's like after this was come for dinner, I went big. Everybody go to England, D Brown, everybody, and them stay in England for a while. So it's like we did have to start, you know, we go check slide now. So we start check slide. And at the same time, no, we did know Lee Perry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, we did check Lee Perry and two jokes, them usually, delegate of them usually, yeah, Lee Perry all the time, check Lee Perry and, you know, vice or song of um, for Lee Perry. But I, I would walk up and down, we didn't have to do it no more shows. It's like, because them time, they, you know, we don't have no care around them things if you're driving. So, usually I have to walk 
if, you know, walk from Waterhouse, you know, from the boulevard, go, go Washington Garden, you know, it's really for walk up and down. You know, I'm not really complain, you know. In just a second, it was not easy road as what the band can say. <laughs> you know, it's not that easy road, you know? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And how old how old were you when you recorded your first set of songs here for um Observer? Oh my god. I mean maybe about 17, 18, 19, somewhere there. So mm -hmm. yeah. And did any of those songs there hit in Jamaica or it was just guess who's coming to dinner hit in UK? It, at the it time? was just guess who's coming to dinner at them time. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, it's like anything it at England always it elsewhere, you know. That's how it always, you know, happened like. It's like, you know, England was just the, the, the place like that. You know, just like how them carry the slave, them coming out of the West, and them drop off some of England, and them drop off some of America, and them drop off some in the Caribbean. It, it, it's just, it's just a, it's just a kind of a chain link they like, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So then you're doing, you're doing those songs there, and everything is, is doing good right now. So then you said, you, now you started well, to link with well, Sly? Well, 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 with Sly, you know, Sly, you try to tell me some boy, I come up with it for that, that them that you used to have Al Brown, I sing. Um, I can't believe that it's real. The way that you make me feel. You know, you to sing the Al Green song where it, where it becomes a big hit. Mm -hmm. Here I am, baby. You, you know that song, right? Yes, for sure. Right. So, more time you used to go up with it for that, Sly, you before them finish a the night time and run, she play a bass and thing. Then usually, you know, some for come sing a one tune, you know, and we sing all, all like sun is shining, all, you know, them kind of get a little break and thing, you know. Yeah, man, it, it, it's like it, it, it rough in, a, in a our time, we pave the wheel like a come up, you know, because nowadays, you know, as you queen, somebody in you know, the billboard and life is so easy for for them, and you know, in them days, they did rough, you know, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So even with yeah. Tit for Tap, was that when you recorded um, Observe Life? Yeah, Observe Life, yeah. 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 And how did that do for you there? Um, It, it was just another throw in the basket. You know, you, you, you get your name heard out there, but it was not number one still. And um, Slice of Why, you know, he might go, he might go, he go made a, a, um, he, he, he go start a label and that label was Taxi. Mm. I was the first artist who recorded on Taxi label. Okay. As Michael, yeah, as Michael was not with the group, mm -hmm. you know. So actually, yeah, I was the one who started that label. Even your, your writing, how did you even learn to write and all of these stuff there at that time there? Um... Well, it's inspiration, you know. It is, you know, it's whatever you see, and you know, all the battering in 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 the system, and you know, cause you have society people are live better than ghetto people, and ghetto people are try and can't reach, and so we just have to write things about betterment in 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 the system of Babylon, you know. At that time there and even with so then now you said taxi gang you were the first to record so were you signed to taxi gang or you guys were just recording music and trying stuff oh back? no we're, we're, we're only um yeah we just no we never signed to taxi taxi never really liked signing we just like bridging and you know we work together like that um, you know when sly um put out the first thing with the group um showcase album you know, we never really, you know, sign no contract or anything like that. You know, we just do it as bridging and, you know, record sell and slide theory royalties and things and everybody get a record. No care small it is, you know. Yeah. And that, and what was the but first before, But before we go so far, mm -hmm. we actually, with the showcase album, we did supposed to record um, I, um the Love Crisis album for... um slide them but then they go up on tour with um peter touch with the with the walk and don't look back tour mm -hmm. yeah so by the time they return from the tour we actually record that album for, for king jammies mm -hmm. you know by by king um by by king toby's studio 
And them time there, it's like when we are recording the tune them. And Tobias said, oh, what, what kind of foolishness that jam is? <laughs> uh, uh, and, and, and then uh, Bonnie Lee would have in there and Bonnie Lee had said, why you call not pay Tubbs no mind? Go and do what you do, the Arabian son. So, you know, just go and do what you do. And um, Love Crisis album came out and Fat Man in England um, actually was the distributor and um, and so on, you know. And, you know, Jamis would have seen it. You know, we name start Carl, you know, so the group get I get big and you know, and thing and thing and you know, we're gonna get all our money again same way, but you know, we get a little thing, our work with it, you know, and so on. You know, we we we'll give thanks still because, you know, all them thing they run in them days there, you know, as a twenty years ago, them old a man with a gun and them police kill a man around the sun. You know, so we, we, our life never did really end up that way. When we, we, you know, we, we police also run with a lock up your weed and them thing there, but they never used to hold it with no gun. We're not getting at them kind of trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you you guys did the first album for King Jammies, but yeah. it was really supposed to be for Sly and Robbie at that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But even when you guys recorded the album, it was you, Ducky Simpson, and I forgot who the third person was in the. Oh. Uh, Era, era. I really used to sing with the and the Jays group you now was concept of, of um Schooner. Um they, 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 they used to have a Taylor brethren and Errol. Schooner now them said Schooner is um Toby's brother. So I don't know if it's blood brother or what, but from long time them said Toby's brother. So you know, them did have the group in the end with the Jays who sing truly and them sang the truly. Mm -hmm. I love it truly. Really. Yeah, you know. And um, well, them did make it big, you know, because them did big before us, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Errol actually usually hang around me and you know do some harmony with me and thing. Mm -hmm. What made so, you decide what made you decide to actually join a group now? Because you on your own, you you're in the studio, you're recording, you've been around a bit. What made you decide to join Black Aurora at this time, you know? Um, um, well, it, it, the thing, what it happened is, you know, um, them is like, ducky them usually, they over the ball field at evening time, you know, mm -hmm. you know, where they play football and thing, and it's like them usually did it with a guitar and them are going to them little thing, but it's like me see the thing on me and say, yo, you know, Carl, what it happened is I used to, you know, I used to dip on the North Coast, you know, I sing like all kind of music. You know, R and B, you know, in the hotel them, like the hotel circuit. I used to do that. So one of the time now, I'm on the that smoke spliff and them fire me like they must say I me the that smoke the weed and them fire me from the band. So when me, it's like me come forward at water house and me start hang out now, dump on corner and thing and a water house. And realize look at them over the ball field more while with the guitar thing or even time them and guard to them and I say, yo. We can we can do our thing, you know. You know, see the time I mean, never even to know about Dan Carlos yet like that. You see me? Mm -hmm. So well then did record some things before our work. So we get together and um we we, we we make that thing the work and you know and it's like that, the rest are history, you know. Right there. And then when did you start to because you say you were singing R and B and stuff, when did you decide that it's more Rastafari you wanted to start dealing with? Well, after me, well, when I have it a long time, you know, but it, it's like, you see, with society people, them time they used to wear Afro, every man I wear Afro, you, know, you see me? Because, from, from, you know, it's like, from, if you're not a dread, it's like the, the, the road long for you and a pair of patrol and ray and, yo, at the wickedest thing, man, them time they, they, you know, see, they, them usually all shoot, all, from them see a dread, them shoot a dread at sight, man, so. Hmm. It's like up here pressure upon Rasta from long, 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 long time. And Rasta don't do nobody nothing. But the Mongol say love I and one love. That's how I know of. I summit I take on to Rasta for right. Got you. And you knew that it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a struggle deal with Rastafari at that time there. 
Yeah, but you, you know, it, but you know, your, your mother always tell you say when you have grow as a youth, say boy, if you want good, you know, you have to run, you know, so mm -hmm. you, you know, say you have to work hard if you want to reach somewhere. So here comes the fight. That's how it go. You know, you just have to outlive it. Got you. Even your slur, the two two yeah. twenty. How did yeah. you come up with that, and how long have you had that in? All right, you see that part of the thing now. It's like we used to sing like Dennis Brown, you know, saying, and um. Between me and it's like, me kind of feel it, say, you know, every time it's D Brown song, them come up, me I sing them in a, in a club and all about, and me and D Brown are bridging. And so one of the time, just kind of take on myself and say, boy, oh, me go, me go, me go make a song for myself. You know, I make a song for myself. And I, me, me just make it. And after me make my son D Brown hear, hear it. And D Brown run come one day and see me. And by the time we get big now and by a look at also I made a request here, D Brown come and get and blow him and come out of Dennis Brown that rub me up and I sing the name of You know, you know, Dennis Brown is always a great giant, yo. That you think me and Kelly says a bridge in there, he is truly to the soul miss. I am telling you. That's why even nowadays me have even tried. To sing back some of him style because films Dennis Brown one of the greatest singer, you know. I mean, I don't think people give him, you know, no artists sing like Dennis Brown and them don't give Dennis Brown him true justice. Like when people are taught him, I say, Boy, well, are Dennis Brown, Dennis Brown and my godfather, I'm mean, afraid for talk that. Because mm -hmm. he said, when we come and say, Ning Ning Woy and Tutu Twink, every man take it up. Whole heap of man eat food, make all platinum record, all kind of thing. And, you know, it's just life. Everybody have to eat our food. It's just so it go. It's like a trend. In other days, we sing soul music because that was the trend. And, and, and you know, it's just so it go. Mm -hmm. Did you record some songs for Dennis Brown too? Yeah, then it's one of the named Deb, Deb Music. And um record um Wood for My Fire and um The Rent Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did those do for you at the time when you recorded those? Um, well it was just another after, uh, 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 you know, the name, the, the, the name Carl again, and people like the song, and it went places, England and Europe and everywhere, you know. You know, it, it, it actually, when things start up now is when, after the, the, we did um, the showcase album with Sly and Robbie, mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, it, we start, we start Take the World by Storm, and then the, the, the Sensor Media album came out, where we get signed to Ireland, and, and 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 so on, you know. Definitely, because you said the first album was supposed to be for Jammies, but then it was really Sly and Rabbit that got the uh, showcase album, and this is the one that had on like Plastic Smile, which was yeah. a massive hit. Guess who's coming to dinner? I guess because you said it was a you recorded first, but you guys now put it on the album. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did record that with ninety, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that and that was a remake. Yeah, that was a remake. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that too, you know. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't know that something. Yeah. But um, you know, working with Sly and Robbie, you know, Sly and Robbie, they are genius. So, you know, that remake that would be so like it did record before the the tune, but you know. Yeah. Big, big, massive song. And the next one was General Penitentiary, off of the same yeah. showcase album, huge yeah. album. Sure. So then this is this is where things started to really turn around for you as a as a singer. How were you feeling as a singer this time here now in your career? Well, we don't, well, you know, them times that we just know the boy, well, we are trampled the drug and we are moved through, you know, because you know, see it is it's all about the conquering lion, you know, man, and the the the, the whole um repatriation of Africa and say you know, say boy, I, I just Rastafari, you know, adapt me and say, you know, you see me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that are the highlight of the whole thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got you. And then a couple years, uh, I think a year later, you guys came up with the Sense of Me in the album, and a massive hit on this was actually the song, Sense of Me, and this was for Island and Mango and those, and right. Taxi Gang at that time there. Yes, yes. 
And from what I remember, good, you wrote most of the songs on this album here too. Okay. Well, you see, you are, you see, up to today, dear. That's why I say you, you have to say to me, you know, most of the I didn't realize you have so many songs because I'm, I'm like a machine, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's like a music machine. You see me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always a record, you know. Yeah. Most, I yeah. have to tell you, you know, I have 60 hard cover booking. You know, 60? 60 hard cover book, you know, with 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 with, uh, with songs when a record yet, you know. We're not afraid of me no muscle. Muscle. Yo, we have me thing together, you know, most like that, you know. You know, you know, you're yeah. all the new album, you know, you have one. Of course. Yes, I know you know. So how the thing really go. You know who got it from who not got it. So I guess the thing there. That was that was never uh that was never in question. Okay. Oh, if Michael Rose had it like that, that wasn't no. Okay. It was always known that you were the writer of the majority of these hit songs. It was a yeah. collective that really pushed the movement forward. But you were the writer of a lot of it. Sly and Robbie was the back and bass. Puma and Ducky they were they were the harmony, and that's what created this massive sound. But you were yeah. always yeah. the pen man yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a wicked combination. It's like. That, that that combination that is like from Puma died is like it can't recover. It's like it's like you know, and then I'll rub it. Just you know, it's like it, it, it can't recover. That's something there. It, it's just a magic where boy, you know, it's an untold story. But I mean, I tell you, what do you miss most about those times there? Because you guys were the like probably one of the first reggae rock bands coming out of Jamaica at that time there that had this. Look, this feel, this image, and stuff. What do you remember yeah. most about that? Well, um, you know, said why you know, with with, with Ducky with Fim look and uh, and Puma no see out here look again and the whole thing it just mel it just mesh you know with the militancy and uh, everything you know you, you know yo me not discredit no one you know it, it's like because if it wasn't the trio. It, uh, and and plus Sly and Robbie at work, uh, it, it it couldn't work neither, you know. Mm-hmm. It, it it's just a magical moment, uh, as I tell you. And then you have the bigger genius, um, Chris Blackwell, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause Chris Blackwell is a man when he really mix or something, you know. And dangerous them weird, you know. Yeah, man. Okay. So he's yeah. not just an exec sitting behind the desk. Yeah, and stuff. Chris not Blackwell. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, he knew it, man. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Trust mm-hmm. me. You know. Yeah. You just spoke about two people, Robbie and Puma. Do you have any two special, any memories, special memories you're holding your heart forever? One for Puma, one with um Robbie Shakespeare. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what me and Telly say. It's it's always resting power, you know, for for both of them because it's true, you know, they're truly miss, you know. Mm-hmm. From the the, the 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 music industry, you know, from from then, you know, yeah, man. Do you sp- share one special memory that you'll never forget? Um. Well, we we, we have do we, it's like we play live under the sky at, at in Japan with something like two hundred thousand people. Many of us did not like that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we perform with the police group. We never seen nothing like that. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, man, the the tour with the, with the rock band. Then may I tell you, it, it's something different. It's something different. The experience there, you can't forget them thing. That, you know, and it's like the group top. All of them levels there, you know, out there where you, 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 there's no comparison, mm-hmm. you know. I must say only Shaggy, I'm the only man missy come, you know, to the things and what we did do from them time there. Yeah, mm-hmm. trust me. Yeah, because you guys, you guys played some stadiums, Wembley, um, you, you name it, right across the States, right across Europe, and these crowds are massive, massive crowds. I mean, 
like all popcorn, them now and the, and, and the new art, artists, them, you, you know, the, the Monarch Stadium now and, and them thing are work same way. But it, it, for them thing now, it's more like pop. For them thing different, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like pop, dance all pop, you know? Yeah, man. For sure. Do you think as a group, you guys, even as individuals, you guys were really ready for everything that was happening at that time? Um, it's like nothing couldn't stop it at that time. They, it, it, every every door, every door around, every fence pushed down. You know, most, <laughs> most, uh, yo, yeah, man. Nothing could stop it at that time, no, man. Me, I tell you, it was just right for the time. You know, every yeah. fence pushed down, man. Me, I tell you, every door kick off. Remember, me, me tell you. But do you think you guys, as a group, were mentally ready for what was gonna happen? so quickly and like as a worldwide do you guys really understand how crazy it was going to get well you you you, you, well, you see the group still up here at the united group you know you have to know that i heard me with the boss of the car but it, it, a whole heap of things happen you let's see it. yeah i kind of yeah. saw more worldwide yes no man me i tell you so you know it 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 it, 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 it's not that easy road as when we stay, you know? It, you know, to make it happen is like, it just happened, you know? Mm -hmm. It just happened like that. So we just have to give thanks, you know? You had to learn as you go type of thing. Yeah, learn as you go, that type of thing. Yeah. Another pivotal moment in you guys' career at that time there too was the um, Red Album that came out in 81. You remember those times? Yeah, man, definitely. Well, what do you Red remember? Album, Red Album did rate it um, number 14 on the, the, the Rolling Stone chart. Um, among um, Bruce Springsteen and um, Michael Jackson and, you know. So, um, the group was going places, you know, like, you know. Yeah, man. At that time there. Yeah, all the time it was like a storm in fire. It, was like, it, 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 it just a move too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those songs, the the big songs at that time, there was um spongy reggae where everybody knows that came in on the um Cosby yeah. show. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And one one other song that's close to me because I'm in Canada, Toronto, Canada, is right. Youth of Eggington. Every time I hear Youth that song, yeah. yes, I just like it because of. It says Eglinton, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you see, the, the, the thing with Eglinton now, we, we were in Canada, remember, because we had played with the Clash mm -hmm. in, in, in Canada. I don't remember how it go, but um, something, we, 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 some, after the, the, the concert, we did have somebody that keep a party and we did invite it, but there was a snowstorm, something did go on. Mm -hmm. And um, never get to go at the party. Uh, Ducky never get to go neither. But the next day, we, we, well, the person who he actually invited, it was a girl, and but she bed. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, them two took the place and she, she, she get shot. You know, so that's how the song come about. Mm -hmm. Poor Jill, she was a spill. That's, you know. that's so crazy thinking about everything that you guys were going through at that time there. Because remember, you're on the top of your game, plus there's a lot of stuff going on around you too at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even when we play England, we, 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 we play a place, um, we, we play a place in London and somebody get killed and um, the police wanted to question us. We had to go to the radio and clear the year because we don't know nobody in England because we did just fresh. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we don't, we don't come from up there, so we don't really know what going on. You know, it, 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 that was another mad thing again, you know. Was that when you guys got banned from England for a while? Um, I don't think we did get banned for that because we did, the police had realized uh, um, we, we, we never... Um, we never, we never know, we never have nothing affiliated to do with, it, with, it, with what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like young people dead and things happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got you.
this now is where the Grammy comes into play. This is the big bad anthem album. This one came out in 83. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is on What Is Life, Party Next Door. Those were the big songs on the album. Yeah. Tell me about the album there. Um, well, the album there, it, it, it was like blazing, striking fire, you know, man, because when the album they drop, it's like the clock stop. Remember me tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, because what is like all of the big stations in now England and in America, they might play um what is life and um you know everybody have them like a choice, but what is life was 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 big, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this time you guys are about to win the Grammy, but this is when everything oh. really started to fall apart for the group oh, yeah. this time, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but well, you, you know, you know how life is. Um, it's like whenever I'm not verbal, just like when we did that work with Slide, them, and you know, you know, you know, you know, when I'm not verbal, so you know, it's like no flicker things maybe undecided, and people just get mad and do, do crazy things, and the book fall apart, and you know, it's like. Man, a bad man, all kind of something go on. You know them something that go. On? But remember, you said there were three hotheads in the group. Yeah, you know that. I mean, I try to tell you. So he saw the thing go. Mm -hmm. What not in that alone when the group fall apart? Um, look, you had other people. Um, you know, hold the front and 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 continue with the group. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, life more goes on. You know, it's just mm -hmm. it go. Why did you decide that this is now where I feel like I want to jump off of this train right here now? Well, um, to tell you the truth, it's like, I just have all the political things where trivial, you know, and, you know, it's like me can't bother get night because it, it come like it don't look a stir up ants and me can't, can't be a big man now, me can't bother with them something. You know, when you're young and them things, the things happen, you know. Was you, you live and you learn. Yeah, you know, it's just a pity, you know. Mm -hmm. So then now, Grammy, you guys, it's at the peak. You win the Grammy, but you leave. Okay, cool. What was your next move now as a solo person, now, Michael Rose? Oh, well, um, continue recording, you know. And um, here I am today. But after, was it after you left the group that you took a break or it was a little bit, you recorded some songs and then you took a break. When do you take a break? Um, did you just take a break because guess what? I mean, um, we did have some land uh, and thing and start plant some coffee and, you know, like the people in from the neighborhood up. It, it near Blue Mountain, you know, employ people so they can work and them kids can go to school. Yeah, you know, we, 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 I, I don't just think about myself, you know, it's a man like that. Me, me, I think about people because it's like, I, I, you may look at me and say, well, oh, but this man is working on gold and da 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 da, but you know, really, you know, why not? You just want to help people. This is what life is all about, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep him up because the um the land is in Blue Mountains, right? Yeah, yeah. That's premium premium coffee city. Yeah, yeah. But you know, know I saw it go. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it go most of you know. You just have to do what you can do, and you know you just have to help if you can help if you can help. I saw it go, you know, a lot. Because I know, again, in 94, you linked up with um, Star Trail and you put out um, Stock of Sense of Yeah. Yeah. How did you link up with Star Trail there? Um, well, like, we didn't know Bobo them for a good little bit because them actually, Bobo them know Juna Del Gado. Mm -hmm. Bobo and, and Dave, you know? And then now, um, it's like one at a time after the Garnet Silk, um, um, projects and thing while things are run at 
One day Bobo said to me, say, boy, I'm serious, I have a rhythm in you know, and, and some you just go for the studio one day and revise it. You know? Yeah. So I saw Star Trail link, did link up, you know? I remember Star Trail did act, you know, man. Yes, man. They had Anthony B. I think Garnet yeah. Silk was over there. A couple yeah. of Louis Culture did some work for them. Yeah, it was a real yeah. cultural Rasta label. Yes, man. Riding West, man. Mad, mad thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And how how easy or how hard for, for you was it? You were doing a lot of international recording, international stuff. How hard or easy was it for you to now get back on the local Jamaican scene and start recording then again? Um, it, it, it's not it, you know really hard, you know, because you see, you see, you see, some people. I don't know about some, you know, some people may be limited. I'm not limited, you know, you know, I'm like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it, they, they, this is the craft. This is the craft where I can't tell a man about this craft because this craft is just a craft where if you don't have it, you don't have the magic. Mm -hmm. The craft. Yeah, you have to have if you don't have the craft, the music thing is like you, you can't maintain the long distance. Mm -hmm. And this was at 95, this was when one Grammy kid linked up with another Grammy kid and put out a big shiner gal. This is with you and Shaba. How Shabba. did that connection? Yeah, man. How did you link up with Shaba now well, to do that song? Well, yeah, the way I linked in all was um specialist because specialist um called me one day and tell me said why the more he want me to come down at the studio down at, um mixing lab because the the more he want me vice um shine eye girl the way which job up some sorry right, everything good yeah mm -hmm. because I know you even performed that on TV I think he remember say him. remember say with Shaba, you know, all right. You see, all the whole thing starts, you know, it's like with Yura, you know, because Yura used to play a thing to be so, you know. Mm -hmm. And then now, he's saying, I, I saw me used to get beaten, you know, if we go out dance and something, you know, because when Yura up there, anyway, then put the steel on them in you know, the tree mm -hmm. and then turn up your road, you know. From your ear that, you know, everybody, every youth are run out of them yard, you know, they ain't gonna dance, you know, man. They don't care when they come back in, what they might meet to them parents or why, you know. But, yeah, man, daddy Rai, man, rest in power every time, you know. Because if I never daddy Rai, and the same way, oh, Shaba, with Shaba now, because Shaba, a water house, the whole away, the, uh, 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 super cat, uh, um, ranking Joe. I, I, I do appear I, I water house, you brown water house. You understand me? I, every, every, I order, I order tubbies, I order the leaf, eat there, everything pop out, you know? Mm -hmm. Even come, we even, yeah, Hello? we pass, we, you know what? We pass a part of but I want to bring it back. Did you ever used to sing on any songs back then? So, no, I never used to sing one song. Mm -hmm. Um, we never used to sing fun song. No, no, not the public like that. Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it was... that wasn't really your I'm, thing. Like... Them, them thing that I'm, I'm mostly DJ, usually DJ. That's why you used to have so much DJ come from Waterhouse. <laughs> because you, you understand me, you only put DJ upon the mic and thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But you have, remember, say, you have Nicodemus, you know, see? Yes. Yeah, the whole of that segment there, you know, it's super cat the man, the whole of that, yeah. Mm. Charlie Chaplin and yeah. Early B and those man. Early B, yes, no man. You see me? So yeah, man, yeah, well, you did you used to have DJ more and singer, man, I come out of Waterhouse. And after the group bus, then you have all it more singer start come out of Waterhouse. It was you used to have one and two, not you know, no, 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 great bungle, you know. But after mm -hmm. the group boss, then a whole heap of singer start come out of Waterhouse, and more DJ start flood the place so. mm -hmm. Because I figured now because people remember, the singers knew it was Arista real. Risto Benji, remember say Risto Benji, yeah, wrote Jamis Camp again, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Risco Benji, Beanie Man, all of them were over there. Beanie Man, yes. Yes. Yeah, man. Uh, I up the road up there, so Beanie Man. 
up, up a balcony drive, up at the top there. So, up when in, in, in most of the dab in the church, some family, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Yes, my man. What, Waterhouse was just one big link with so many musical artists and even songs coming out of Waterhouse at that one yeah. time. Yeah, man. Yeah, I tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tell you. Because even with Waterhouse, you linked up with um John John again and you'd put out um shootout. Yeah. This right here had brought you back into the even yeah. like young people type of look at that time there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give thanks. Give thanks. How did you come up with shootout and then the remix with Damien Marley? Yeah, the remix with Damien Marley. Yeah, that that was something else, you know. That was a a, a, a big lift up right there. Yeah. You see me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But if you tell you, you know, you know, monsters, that song, when you shoot out by itself before the, the, the remix, it went number one in uh, Caribbean Island on uh, 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 28 weeks, number one in uh, the British chart. Okay. Uh, shoot, shoot out did well, yeah. Uh, and, and no mention Africa and all about, you know? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, was, that was big there. Yeah, it was big. Shoot out yeah, with man, that the, the rhythm, the whole juggling was big that yeah, time. Yeah, juggling there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, because Damarco was um mm-hmm. was 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 the man we have been the rhythm, the man, everything. So Demarco, we are so big of Demarco from early, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you see the busy the signal big. also. We are so big of the busy signal because busy signal was on that album also. With yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And the thing with it is you got a chance to see from basically the beginning of stuff until you even got to link up with the younger you and put out music too, because you even linked up with Taurus Riley and they remade oh, yeah. your next song again. Guess who's coming to dinner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. We have enough respect to Ken and Dean Fraser. Big up every time. They mind the musical up from early. Yeah, man, from long time. I even pan slice like a wicked album. I did that uh, uh, with, with, with the saxophone from early. Yeah. Dean, uh, he's a good bridging, you know? Good mind, you know, good person, you know? Yeah, man. And um, this is why he, he, he is, he's in the thing so, so long, you know? Mm-hmm. Definitely. You've had all these good stuff, but I know in... 2002, you got into some problems that had nothing to do with you, which was where you got um stopped at Miami Airport. Oh well, yeah, um, it was it, yeah, it's just one of them uh, identity thing when people theft. The people use your, I, your identity, and it kind of shut me down still because more while me couldn't move. One at a time, me stuck for seven years. Nothing, me can't move. Me after the one place, me after I go up here Europe, me can't come America like that. But it saw it go. Them say, boy, if Dunk in a want water, you, 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 you can't carry him, go make him drink the water. I'm off go himself. So it's just one of them things. It's, it's life, you know? Mm-hmm. Everybody but in the world don't have the everybody don't have the same problem, but everybody have a problem. I love that one there. <laughs> everybody doesn't have the same problem, but everybody has <laughs> it. <laughs> No, but everybody have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say those seven years were probably the darkest period for you in your career at that time there? Oh, well, at them time the shoot out come up and I tell you say, I need to jump them time there. Them time they may have to depart me ten to because mm-hmm. we now move with the crow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no man. Yeah. yeah, I tell you. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's like, like you, you got a blessing. It's like, whoa, thank God you got the shootout right here. Oh, uh, of course, of course. And them thing that work because I prayer come me pray, me pray, me pray, me work with enough prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why you, you, you see me on me look, me, 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 you know, me could not be a bag of wire. You see me? Mm-hmm. Because we work with prayer, you know? Definitely. Yeah, we're not know. Cost, we're not turn me back, we're not cost John no time. Because in the downfall, we use prayer and rise again. You understand. Yeah. Because I know you were doing some work with um, Barris Hammond for a bit there, too. Oh, that's something, man. Um, yeah. 
You do up a various yes, advice, 16 song up a various, and uh, I, I think we did our money's um, only two dollars came out, and that was the end of that. My name no know what going on. You see me? It's just one of them things. The added things start again. And Barberis was the man where I, I actually introduced. Um, you know, one day my phone ring and he must say to me, say, um, Ducky want to talk to me. Although Ducky keep us, I know so it go. But I tell you what happened. You know, mm -hmm. my phone ring. Barberis, I say, Ducky there. He said, what go on? He said, talk to him. He go silent. He said, you're dead. He said, yeah, me there. You know, so it's a said go. I want them thing there again. You know, we just move on see them where the thing that he will revise the thing them every day. Mr. Barry's all up to every time I see him, anywhere I see him, I say, Boy, I want me to knock up the this song them. So I say, You see me vice by part already. And he can't answer me, just have to laugh because you see, Barry is a man, is a man. Where, he always, you know, he always showed I love there, you know. <laughs> yeah, he always showed I love there. Yeah, definitely. And that that movement there was basically instrumental in actually getting you and Ducky Simpson to join back and go on the road for a bit to do some more shows. Exactly, and we did because once we did start the album, the feedback reached Europe, and then people start wow, we tour, we did a tour and everything. And then, as when me I said, the mad thing start again. So it, it, it just, it just the way there, you know. What? Why do you think you guys, you guys are like this? You guys could create this epic music, this epic sound, but it's just something about the personalities that just after a while no, you guys well, in the space. I don't it's know. Like, it's like it's like one willing and one is unwilling, you know. <laughs> Is it's it like what you know, it's really like every time it changes? Say, All right, me gonna start it and me gonna make it happen. It's, mm -hmm. it's like something does happen, and a man said, Boy, I'm not go back, you know. And me say, Boy, why? And he said, Boy, we just not go back. I'm saying, All right, everything good. I'm gone by who is too. <laughs> What's you do? Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, but hard. yeah, it, 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 I just life, yeah, I'm also. Mm -hmm. It's just life, and um, we just have said why, you know, we just have hope that each and everyone can, you know, achieve in a life, and we're not bad mind no one, and you know, we just have say, you know, I just upliftment, you know, to every music one in the industry, and you know, we just have to try with this, and you know, it will work, you know, you know, make no sense, a man sit down and watch an ex man, and that man they have got you, and you know. A space that if you ever want, food that it enough. In Bob Marley tell you from long time, say, yo, none of him you them not eating on a roadside and all these kind of things. So you see me. We is there. So, you know, we just have say, I just more prosperity and, and love to the world, you know. That's all you can say, you know. For sure. Talking about our uh, kids, I know you have a daughter. That's um yeah. she's either in the business or she used to do music business also. Oh <laughs> she don't becomes an architect and then it's like she know why you're not more about no more music. She started all her album and can start it because she have too much big job because she architect. <laughs> she had drive to drive up your high rising building and a fabric, mm -hmm. same things all about and you know, with, you know, she have a big job and Sometimes she will come in and next time she busy. So, you know, we just have to load them because you see, life goes on, you know, and, and it, you know, it's like as when me I tell you, you know, most of say, I may be like singing, they like singing too, but maybe they have a, 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 a profession. That's how it go. So everyone, yeah. you know, choose what they want in her life. So you can't force no one to do something. She she play piano, she play guitar and everything. She have an album where she did start. More like of a um um more like of a um the kind of Taylor Swift them kind of a between blues and that kind of something there you know but she just not come on to finish the album. One of those things. Yeah, one of those things. God, them you they them 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 are like American. You know, they are not alike. They are American, mm -hmm. uh, and they sing the Yankee we are uh, for them thing at uh, uh, them that the son is a drummer. 
you know, and um, he, he, he actually, um, he, he never played a track on a new album, but he, he, he take all advice from him. Both him and my, him, him and his sister, Jay, Jay Rose. Yeah, Jana, yeah. She um actually, you know, record, take some of the voices also. The new album, I Give You Love, yeah. And then my grandson, my grandson, he yes. now told him see me in the studio all the while. What the hell come about him to buy that thing and we put him around the muscle. Voice to a tune, good at everything, you know. Uh, uh, so I tell him, say, all right, since I still love it like that, we're going to do an album. We're going to tell him about like a seven, eight to a year old kid, you know. Okay. You see, you will I know. You see, we put him back around the world, the feet, sing muscle. <laughs> The one on the crack tears, we don't have to tell him. Come on, don't tell him this thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 He likes yeah. to fool around, but he doesn't want to do the, the real Yeah, work. because no, I guess what we didn't know. He wanted to play Xbox and mm -hmm. uh, the game thing. So when we take him and put him in here for sing, the man tears want to drop out the little man eyes. So I tell him, to so I tell him, boy, you love this thing. Come out and go on here, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I hear that now you hear talk in the, the beginning of the, the album. Good. Yeah. And this album we're talking about here is um I Gave You Love, and this is your new album that um produced by um Don Some Records. Yeah. Yeah. Very promising um producer. Remind me, you know, remind me of Sly or oh, Sly Sly Works, you know, like with Sly Rabbit and like in, 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 in pick the right reading them for some come give me for simple, you know, in in, 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 in our magic there, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, that's how it works, everything go good, you know? Yeah. For yeah. sure. And the title track features um Bugle, but if I remember good, right. was Bugle always on that song or you guys added him to the song after? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he, he, he added to the song after because when the, that song come out first, you know, it came out on dancing um, album. Mm -hmm. When they put out with, with compilation, but with just me I sing straight through the whole song. But then now, because maybe I think the 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 the, the vocal one came out on his album, he, he put Bugle on the, the, the my album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a combo, you know? Definitely. Which is a great, great song, you know. Big song. Yeah. And what's the the thinking behind that song? What was the inspiration for a song like that? Well, it, it, the, the inspiration behind that song, you know, is um, it's just you know, oh, you 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 greet people with good art more a while, and then people like them turn around and want you know, them want to stab you on your back more a while, you know. It, it's just it's it's around one of them kind of energy they like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've done? Did you do any work with Bugle before? Or this was the first time you guys you guys did something together. In, in, um yeah, I think um in, in the record for Sly, you know, mm -hmm. on another track. Well you can do your research and you will find out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So much songs, boss. So much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Another another big song you have on this album here is the one you have with um Bounty Killer. Yeah. Yeah, man. Stepping like stepping like stepping like a murderer. Oh. Tell me. Tell me the inspiration be behind a song like that, no? Well, the inspiration behind the song, there, you know, is like too much um, senseless killing, and you know, that's why we have said don't push it further, you know, you know, you know. It's like if you check it right now, the streets art, woman abroad, you know, the streets art, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so a song, you know, like that, you know, is needed in the industry, you know, for, for, for uplift the youth, the man, you know, get them finger off of the trigger, you know? Hmm. How many albums do you have? Oh, God, most of them. We have Wally per album, man. Yeah. We, we have Wally per album. Right now, we just want to talk about a new album. Like, you see the youth when you have um, Jamil, yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm Big tune again, you know? Yes, man. Big so tell me about that one there, how that came around. You, you, after we met the song and thing, he danced and called me and he said to me, boy, 
you know, say my feel of energy, um, in my go put Jamil pan 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 a pan a song. Yeah. And me never too familiar with Jamil, so it's like him send me some things from Jamil and me I check it. And me I say, yo, but that you too tough. Mm -hmm. He put song them and it's like, you know, he, he that good for having, you know. So me tell him say for go ahead, you know, because dancing kinda have, you know, him have him, him is like a new cox, you know, as some rate him, you know. Yeah. In in yeah. in 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 know how to make him ends them, you know, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially that that's a big compliment coming from so, somebody like you that's been and then, in the you know, business. It, 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 burn. Uh, it, it talks about like things where you know the city them are burned down and fear, you know, people dying and you know, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, because we, we have to think things like these, you know, because a lot of people don't know what's going on in the world sometimes, you know. So mm -hmm. we have to make songs like these, you know. Especially coming out of the pandemic that we were in, it's now people really are trying to find themselves and understand what's really going on around them. Exactly. And some people not believe now nothing. And so it, 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 it's just a crazy world, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just a crazy world, man. Definitely. So when people take in this album here, 13 tracks, this is Don Sam, this is your collection that you guys put together. What is it that you really want them to take away from listening to this well, Mike we just album. want each and every one, you know, to take, you know, time, you know, to listen to all social issues and things that, you know, that are happening. Why, you know, things are so hard for them nowadays, you know, so they just need to, you know, check the album mm -hmm. because right now we need a billion hit and between me and your muscles. Yo, me no see them make their attempt yet, you know. So guess what? They need they need to go check the album, you know. On mm -hmm. Amazon and iTunes, they need to go check this album. I give you love that turns to eight. You see me? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Trust me, I've listened to it and the project, solid project, and the fact that you're still putting out Every music time I after so long. Album, and my album, I mean, can't get Clyde I. Mm. It's like me, I drive me after I listen to it. Me you know, my bed me after I listen to it. So me, I say, no, sir, me have to share this with the mm -hmm. fans out there mm -hmm. in Argentina, Brazil, Costa Rica, yeah, all Caribbean island. Them need to check the new Michael Rose album, I Give You Love. Europe, not to mention, the need for couple of, yeah, Africa. I, I, I write this sort of thing that Japan, Japan want it like crazy. You see me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Right now, the music here is the only music right now can soothe all the wound that's out there right now in the world. Mm -hmm. So, gentle people out there, go get your copy now. There's no regret. When could they catch you performing these new songs live? Well, all right. Um, all the festivals are off, uh, because, yeah, we, 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 it's soon December holiday and everything next year. So everybody just get their album and go and listen because I will be in your town like a dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, listen, somebody like you, that, that you write, you produce, you perform and all this, where do you feel best? Do you? prefer to be in a studio or do you prefer to be on a stage um it 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 it, every, it works together and you know, interlock because um it's like when you record you 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 deliver good music then you have to please the fans so you have to you you have to do the performance you know mm -hmm. and performance okay i got two last questions before i yeah. get you out of here okay, sure, okay and this okay. is this is about performance because again, you've been singing from the seventies till right now we're 2023. I want you to remember three shows that stick in your mind, either when you were with black and or yeah. by yourself that you will never forget and tell me why three shows. Three shows. Yeah. All right. Um, remember, um, world music festival. In a Montego Bay with Rick James and with Rick James, Rick, yes, yeah, and Betty Wright and yeah, that 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 was that was a big concert. Great, actually, Grateful Dead um, performed at, at that concert. 
in Jamaica? Yeah, more be it. Montego Bay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, another concert with, with, with Ronnie Williams Center with Peter Touch. Mm-hmm. And 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 um the following day we play Fort Clarence. That's where we really get signed with Chris Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Chris was at the concert. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. And one other show that sticks in your mind forever. Live, live under this um um year of the international child by the national mm-hmm. arena in Jamaica right there. Um Bob Marley prophet. Bob Marley performed that night. Mm-hmm. The year of the international child. Yeah, and I think Barton Levy was on that lineup also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that night it was wicked, it, it, it tough. Mm-hmm. The energy was just different altogether. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Last one I have for you here. Yeah. Done a lot of great stuff, Jamaica worldwide and everything. Do you think the industry really gives you the credit and your flowers that somebody like you of your stature really deserves? Well, we, we always, we, we always are weird, you know, because them say it's never too late. So, you know, make we see, you know, most of we, we just have to, you know, no make no sense of ball and thing there, you know, because we don't believe in all them kind of something there, you know. We don't have a ball and drag down people, you know. So make we see, you know, because see a brand new album is out now and everything. And this is what the people were waiting for, you know. So everyone just run go get it, man. See? And and endure all of it. For sure. And the conversation, if there's any big ups, anything else you want to say, leave some contact information where they could check you out on social media and all that. The floor is yours before I let you go. Yeah, man. May I say, yo, this is Michael Rosa Muslin, oh, man. See, Michael Rosa Muslin, a shootout. Yo, I want to them. Yo, John John Firehouse, big up every time. I like Firehouse people, them Jamaica people, I saw it go. And we are say, yo, stop me police kill out with you with them, no, man. Yo. Yo, you see me? And we have a blessed love. Do, we just read the Bible and, uh, and give praises every day, you know. And we have say, more love to the world. As where we say, I give you love. Peace and stay strong. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle. And this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichunt.com.